am back and I'm going, I started, actually started experimenting on these um, rose molds if you watched my live from earlier today. And sorry, I'm not showing my face only because I've got to figure out how to, I kind of have this phone propped up. So it's working right now and I want you to be able to see what I'm working on. So earlier today, I did a live and I showed um, how to make molds out of resin and clay. So this is what they look like out of the resin. And I tried to flip the camera so that um, everything wasn't backwards, but I didn't get that choice. It's so funny, I'm gonna have to play around with it. Um, I know Heather, you had said I could flip it, when I mean flip it, um, so that things, so that the writing is not backwards. I cannot figure out how to do that. I'm kind of tech challenged anyway, haha. <laughs> so anyway, I know some of you are gonna be asking me again. This says amazing casting resin and it dries and sets up in about 10 minutes, really quick. So that's that. And this is the clay that I was using, okay? So what I ended up doing, and it's, the, it's just a polyform model air clay, uh, super cheap but I like it better than paper clay. Earlier today, I had said I never made the roses out of these pink molds because I thought maybe these were too deep, but I ended up experimenting and I got them to work. So just to show you the equivalent, this is, I love the way they look in the resin, really crisp. Thing is, is I want to glue some of these roses. This is gonna end up being, I think, I'm gonna call it my rose garden. Um, just full of roses. So I needed the flexibility of the clay so that I can glue it. If you can see, I think, in this live, this is curved right here. So it would be a little difficult. It's not sitting in there properly if it's with the resin. So I decided, you know what, I was gonna experiment, make it with the clay, and now I can press the clay in, in there, right, to make it fit. So with that said, I really don't have a real plan. I'm just working on this. I had told you I'd come back live and I'd bring you back on with me. So um, at the angle the phone's at, I can't read your comments. I'm just gonna go ahead and just start working and you're more than welcome to sit and watch. Hopefully I won't bore you. Hopefully you'll learn something. I, as I go, I will probably end up making more of uh, these roses out of the clay just because it's working out for me and then I don't have to wait for the um, resin to set up. So with that said, oh God, I wish I had a funny story to tell. I almost, Jerry, um, oh, and I wanted to show you too. And then I'll just talk a little bit. Oh goodness, if I turn this upside down, I'll spill it. Okay, I wanna show you the glue that I'm using. I've already glued these three on. Yep, and I even ended up making, let me reach back behind me. I have a, a mold for these leaves. I'm not, completely thrilled with these leaves. They're kind of thick. Actually, they're really thick, but I think by the time I paint everything, I think they'll be fine. And I was just thinking, I bet you, yeah, maybe if I just kind of soften the edges, maybe that's the problem. They just look too thick, but I can play around with the clay, whereas with the resin, I can't. That's why I decided to do the clay. So I've got this um, for the leaves. What I think I'm going to do is kind of get my roses positioned. So what I'm using, this is made by Aileen's. It's her tacky glue. Now she's got two of them. And again, I'm so sorry this is backwards. I am really, really sorry. I have got to figure out why it did not let me. I, and I'm even taking a Facebook Live class from Dion Woods. So um, I've got to figure out maybe with her she can I'll go back into our live or maybe she can explain to me, but I did not see the option to do, um, basically right now we are using a mirror image, right? So it would be so that you could see everything the way it should be, but it does say turbo, 
Turbo Tacky Glue. This one dries quicker, okay? That's the one I like. And again, you can get it at your craft store. Walmart carries it also. If you wanna spend a little less money, it's cheaper there. But again, I like the Turbo because I'm impatient. I want everything to dry quickly. These are pretty much, they're almost set. I can't, I, I'm not gonna force them to move. But these I probably glued on within the last um, 10 or 15 minutes. So here we go. I put, because now um, my purple cap on that glue is clogged, I just, I put it in a bowl and I'm going to brush it on anyway. So it really doesn't matter. So here goes. I'm just, I'm doing this randomly for now. All of this is going to get painted. It's going to look kind of strange right now because the roses are this terracotta color. You can get this um, clay and white, and I didn't realize it ever even came in terracotta. I usually get the white, it, but this time when I pulled it off the shelf and opened it earlier today, it's terracotta. And I'm not really going to the edge all the way because by the time I smash it down, and if you, the glue does screw it out of the edge, it's gonna dry clear, and if it doesn't, again, I'm painting. I'm gonna paint right over it. I'm not going to lose sleep over these roses. So I'm gonna just put this one right here in the curve. I'm just gonna hold it for a second, hopefully, because this is a thick mold. It's much thicker than your IOD molds or your Prima um, redesign molds, because these are for candy, candy making. So you know when you make candy, you want a nice thick, uh, probably for like chocolate or whatever that is. But it's holding. Got to make sure I don't go too low um, because my drawer is very, um, not very wide, right? It's pretty narrow. So I think I'm going to take another, like this is my biggest one right here, the one that I have here in the corner. And I think I'm going to bring that over here somewhere and then I can just start making maybe some little ones. Um, I, I'm thinking I might wanna do the leaves last and try to put them in between the roses. But again, here, I'm, I'm trying to watch me in the camera so that I can see what you're seeing. Again, you know, I'm using an old, old brush. I just poured some glue into the bowl, nothing fancy, okay? Here we go. All right. So, um, for those of you who don't know, I live in Las Vegas and, um, oh, it fell off. Did you tell me it fell off? Did somebody say, Josie, it fell off? Ah. Oh my gosh. Well, I may have to hold it. Oh, I know Debbie used tape, didn't she? And as a painter, you should see, I probably have a case of tape in my garage that I never did use. I just have to, I'm gonna have to keep a little eye on this. If I were using this other glue that I have, but now I'm not gonna rush, I'm not gonna keep you waiting just looking at this. I've got this other kind of glue. It's kind of like a, oh, it's made by Loctite. And I think it's called something grip. I honestly can't even remember. It comes in a tube and it's a quick, it might be called quick grab, something like that. It is made for construction. That's probably what I should be using on these because these are so heavy. <laughs> so now I gotta hold it right until it sets. Yep, that's, I should have gotten my tape didn't even think about it. I've been, um, since Danette and Kim left, they left around noon. They came in from Arizona last night. They're two, um, well, Kim's a friend. Danette's one of my retailers. They both live in um, the Phoenix area. And they came in and spent the night and we had said we'd do a live together. Well, by the time they got here, it was still pretty early, maybe three or 3.30, but you know, we just got to talking and it was the first time I'd met Danette. 
And before you know it, we were just eating dinner really late, talking, never did our lives. So this morning, that's why I did the live making these because we, um, I was showing them this project and they wanted to learn how to do these. So anyway, they left around noon. And then I've been on the computer. Danette used to build websites. So uh, we got to talking about what I pay for my website, which um, by the time you add on all the apps that Shopify charges you, I'm paying a lot of money. And she's, she was shocked. So she started talking to me about using WordPress, even though I'd be buying, I guess I'd be uh, purchasing plugins she thinks it would still be less expensive than what I'm paying every month for Shopify plus their apps. Uh, the thought of changing again though, right? Oh my gosh, I built my own website and again, I told you I'm not, I'm tech challenged. If it wasn't for YouTube, I wouldn't be able to do it. I think it's gonna stick. The other roses are small. Yeah, so I started looking, I spent the last couple hours looking at um, WordPress and I finally thought, you know, I'm, I'm done. I'm, my, I'm on overload. I need to do something creative. Actually, I'm supposed to be working on my dining room table. I had made, um, even though I don't sell DIY paint, I still am on their website, on their Facebook page, um, just for various reasons. Well, we do make the brushes for them, so that's one of them. And then if somebody has a question about brushes, so anyway, in case you're wondering, why would you be have access to a retailer page when you're not a retailer? We make their brushes. So it just makes it easier if they have questions. And I forgot where I was going with that whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna, when I remember where I was going with that whole thing, I'll let you know. Oh, this one's <laughs> you know, just when you think it's going to stick. So in case that you're wondering where I'm getting this idea from, uh, it is inspired <laughs> by, for two reasons. One is I saw Debbie Beer do a, beautiful dresser using IOD molds. But her inspiration was a dress, 14, actually it was where I looked on their website. Anthropology has this beautiful dresser that retails for over $1,400 and it's one-sided, beautiful, almost like a little flower garden full of these molds applique, however they do theirs, right? So this is just a little nightstand I have in my office. It, it really doesn't serve much purpose because I don't, it's not a bedroom anymore. I thought this might be fun to play around and kind of do a Debbie Beard, anthropology inspired um, nightstand. And the room, well, my office, I, several years ago, I made um, these drapery in there it looks like vintage fabric, it isn't vintage, but they look like they have um, vintage roses on them. So that's why I thought, you know, I think I'm gonna go with the rose theme on this thing, even though when we move, um, this will probably go with me, it won't stay. Oh no, it'll stay in that bedroom as a nightstand because we're gonna, we're gonna convert my office back into a room. So that way when we rent um, our house out, This one's sticking finally. So, oh, I, I think, I, oh, I don't know what I was gonna say. So anyway, I'm still in Vegas. I leave, I go back to Florida. I lose track of my dates. On Thursday, just to turn around on Saturday and um, travel with Mr. Pixie with the motorhome, we're gonna start making our way back to Las Vegas and I get to stop and text. I'm so excited about this. I'm going to be, going, we're going to be um, passing through Dallas. So I get to see 
Quita Allen, all shabbed out, one of my favorite artists, love her. Um, you know, one of my favorite people. And pick up the painting that I bought from, it was a collaboration of Dion, Q, and Anissa from this and that. When Anissa was invited to go teach a class with Dion in February, I bought the painting they worked on and we were gonna have it shipped home when I got home. But now that uh, we need to go, actually we have to stop in Austin. So Mr. Pixie said we could make a trip uh, through Dallas and just pick up my picture. So I'm really, 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 really excited about that. I'm gonna have to, my next house, I'm gonna have to design um, rooms with lots of walls to put all these hangings on because in this house, we have a lot of open space. I don't have room for all the paintings I've bought. They're just leaning up against walls. Okay, that's that one. I wanna put, oh, and I did try like cutting one of these, right? and it did not look good at all because the way this drawer is, there's like a tiny bevel. So it's not flush where if I had cut it, at least if the drawer, drawer was shut, it would still look like a full rose. That looked horrible. So I'll figure something else out with that. It's hard to tell, um, I don't wanna do there, but I do wanna do like little bunches of roses. Maybe I'll just put that one right there for now. And then I'm gonna have to get to making some more. I have other rose molds. What I don't like about them are, um, they're really, really flat looking. I, these are my favorites because they're a deeper mold and they have more dimension to them. But, it's kind of like I'm limited on size. I've got some baby ones that I, I can try to make. Maybe I'll do that. I'm gonna need more glue. Maybe I can make some leaves. Sorry, am I boring you all to death? I'm so sorry. I know this can't be fun, just listen to me chit chat. I'll tell you what I love when I watch Debbie Beard's videos. And I love how she tells stories during the video and then she cuts to what she's doing. Kind of hard to do, you can't do that during a live. And the truth is I have stories to tell, but by the time I come live, I don't remember what to say. You wanna hear about my, um, I know. Do you wanna hear about where I'm going um, this summer? I'll tell you anyway, because that gives me something to talk about while I'm working on this. What do we decide right here? Well, we're going back to Italy. We're super excited. My daughter, Melissa, is coming with us. She's my photography daughter. And um, we are going to be chronicling, I'm gonna say it's a chronicle of our trip. We um, are going to video the manufacturer. We're gonna video the family. Uh, make some kind of intro video. I've got to get my, my YouTube channel is up, but right now it just has tutorials on it, which of course that's what it's for. And, but I would love to have maybe like a video, you know how, again, I, I keep going back to Debbie. Oh, and okay, Debbie, Dion, Zeb and Jamie, everybody, how they have intro pages to their YouTube channels before you actually get to the content. I would love for my, um, I think my intro, I want little snippets of the family, of us interviewing, asking some questions about, well, you know, like the typical question, how did you get into the paintbrush making business? How long have you been doing it? Blah, blah, blah. Cute thing is, is uh, the son that I deal with, he's the only one that speaks English. His dad, only speaks Italian. His brother's fluent in Italian and French. So my other thought is, my French is really rusty, but I can understand it better, but it, I could get along if I need to. So my other thought is, well, if I had to, I could ask the brother in French to ask the father in Italian, right? So somewhere along the line, we'll get uh, an interview in there. 
And then Melissa, we're gonna play uh, some kind of game every day when we're in port. And um, I'll tell you what the ports are. Let's see if I can even remember them in order. We're going on, after we're done with the manufacturer, we're gonna spend a few days there with them. And then, uh, then we are going to do a Mediterranean cruise for seven days, which I'm super excited about because I've always wanted to do one of those. So we take the cruise, <coughs> excuse me, out of Rome. Oh, I know while I'm chit-chatting, maybe we'll make some leaves. Um, we're gonna take the cruise out of Rome and our first stop is Florence, but I chose not to, I actually, I chose not to go into Florence or Pisa for my excursion because I didn't know that that whole area is Tuscany and Tuscany is an area that I've always wanted to see. So I don't want to get stuck. I figure I can always go back to Florence. Oh, here, I'm just kind of sharing what I did, sorry. Um, I can probably always go back to Florence and Pisa. So I am taking, we're gonna take an excursion to, uh, I think it's Siena and another town and I don't know, that just seemed more of my liking. So that's what we're going to do there. And then the next day, I'm going, oh, okay, it's not sliding off. The next day we will be in the south of France and I'm super excited about that because um, I have cousins that live in the south of France in Nice and they're going to meet us at the port and I get to spend the day, they're gonna spend the day with us and I haven't seen her since 2010. Oh, real quick, if you, again, if you watched my live from before, I said put, if you're gonna use clay, put cornstarch uh, in the mold so that your clay doesn't stick. But I found with these silicone molds like these, they're not sticking, so I'm not, I'm not using the cornstarch. Yeah, so, okay, so we're going to Cannes. That's the next port. The next port after that, I think it's Palma, Mallorca, Spain. And there we're going to do wine tasting. You know, it's funny, I'm not a huge drink. I drink wine, I'm not a huge drinker. I don't have to drink it daily. Sometimes I don't even need to drink it weekly. But there's something about when I am traveling and it's wine country, oh yeah, I wanna go wine tasting. and. From our last trip last year to Italy, my gosh, the local wines are fantastic. Better than anything I think I've ever had here. And I don't get a buzz off of them. Here with some of the wines, I just have to be careful how much I'm drinking because I don't like um, that buzz. There, I don't even get a buzz. Someone said it's because they make them different. There's no tannins or something. Okay, I'm gonna make one more just to, or these two little ones. I didn't like, I had made this big one before. I didn't like it. I like the smaller leaves. So, okay, so that's Palma, Mallorca, Spain. And then where do we go? So you'd think I booked all these tours. We go to, I know we go to Barcelona. I'm missing a, I'm missing a location. I can't remember what it is right offhand. We go to Barcelona, can't remember what tour I decided to do there, but we're doing something. Um, we go to Naples and I chose, my cousin did this same tour last year and she went to the Amalfi Coast and I hear it's absolutely beautiful. I've been to Naples before, so I decided, even though Jerry hasn't, he won't care. So I booked some kind of land and, <laughs> okay, this is funny, a land and sea tour, but it's on like a motorboat or something. It'll be fun. Whatever we do will be fun. So the, the idea is while we're in Europe and all these ports, Melissa, and oh, and we're also bringing a brand ambassador with us. Um, she's gonna help us. It turns out to be a good friend of Melissa's. She is going to be with us on the cruise. We've, um, we, the, kind of part of the deal, she's coming and bunking with Melissa and in return, um, she's gonna help us with some branding or whatever marketing, which, whatever it is that Brand Ambassador does. And again, we're super excited. So in while we're at port, Melissa and Molly can go do whatever they want, but they have to bring a paintbrush or two with them. And um, 
We're thinking of doing like a Where's Waldo type thing where, you know, maybe she'll take pictures, she'll post them, we'll post them that night. That's why with as many products as I have, we can give away one of each product so there'll be more than one person who can win for that day. And you have to guess where uh, the pixie is. But that's kind of the thought we're having right there with that. We, you know, just something fun, a game we can do with all of you. So this is one of my larger, I can't see, but I think that might work. Heck, you know what, it's a leaf, Josie. Don't get all crazy about a leaf. And it's just a nightstand, right? So then when we're done with our cruise, we go back to Rome. We hop on a plane, we go to London. Because actually we're flying out of LAX into London and then London into Italy. So we're gonna go back to London from Rome. And Melissa's gotta come home because you know she's got two kids. She can't be gone as long as we can be gone. And Jerry and I are gonna stay a couple, uh, four or five extra days. And we're going to tour London. I've been there once before. There were, um, and I, I was, it, I really liked England. I thought it was a beautiful country. And I had told Jerry that someday we'll have to go back. And he really wanted to spend some extra time in Europe this year. But um, I thought, you know, I think it would be the perfect time for us to stay and to go to London. And I'm super excited. The tour, I've tour, I booked one tour there. One, ex, uh, yeah, one tour. It's visiting, um, it, I think the town's called Cogs, Cogs, Cogswell, something like that. But it's where they have thatched roof houses. And Carmel has some thatch. If you've never been to Carmel, you gotta go look. They're just kind of random, but they're the, cutest houses because when they do a thatched roof it just it rounds over the house it's really cool okay let's see let's come along let's see this side or I think this is too small no maybe that's better so that's what we're doing. Oh, and then my cousin, um, again, she spent, I think she went to London last year too. She told me to do, a, it's an, a nighttime uh, sightseeing tour for, and it's a, called the Jack the Ripper tour. So what that is, they take you to everywhere Jack the Ripper murdered people. And from what I understand, the guides are fantastic, you know, because they're almost like the act actors. So we're gonna do that. Um, Food-wise, when we were there, my brother and I actually had to go. My mom was sick in the hospital, we had to go. And the day we went, well, a couple times, the little town we were at where my mom had gotten sick, we tried to order fish and chips from a pub. Well. We look at a menu, and again, this was a small town. We look at the menu of the pub, and they are saying fish fingers. And we're like, oh my God, we get to have fish and chips. And to kind of back up on this story, we had gotten in, I, I wanna say it was like right around five o'clock dinner time. We could not find anywhere that would serve us dinner at five o'clock. They had shut down their, um, their kitchens at noon. So we walk into like a, convenience store and we asked the guy is there anywhere that serves food in this town after two o'clock and so he says yeah go to this little pub over there and you'll be able to get food so that's what we did we went into the little pub order fish fingers and oh my god it comes out you know what fish fingers are folks I'm sure you have an idea uh I didn't even think they even made it anymore I, I did not eat them as a kid but they are fish sticks we actually ended up, we were so tired from our trip. We were laughing so hard because here we were, our mouths were watering for some authentic English fish and chips and we get fish sticks. 
So that was our first experience with fish and chips in England. Oh, what do you think? I think that's looking pretty nice. So then, the day we go into London, we decide, sorry, I'm just kind of looking for some of these, some other molds, maybe some smaller ones, something I can maybe put up here, right, to kind of offset the size. Let's try this baby one. So then we go into London for the day and we said, oh, surely we're going to get fish and chips in London. I'm sure we're going to get the best fish and chips we've ever had ever. So it was lunchtime and we go into this beautiful pub and I can tell you one thing that was really good there too in that pub. I had never had a pear cider. My brother ordered one and oh my gosh. Even to this day, I, don't, I can't remember what brand it was. I've not had, I, when I go to bars and see pear ciders, I didn't even bought them here. Anyway, we order fish and chips, expecting what I grew up with. We had this great little um, fast food type fish and chip place in the town I grew up at. And you get pieces of fish, like when you go to a restaurant here, right? You get several pieces. The way they serve fish and chips, and I'm going to tell you, we we tried it twice again after that. They are not small pieces. What they do is they literally fry half of a fish. That's what you get, or maybe the whole fish, but they cut it in half. That's the fish and chips you get there. It was delicious, but not the typical fish and chips. You see, not the typical fish and chips um, we are used to getting here in the states. You see? I'm trying to decide. Um, yeah, and you know what? And I'll put this here, I'll leave a little gap. And I, I have another, this might be too big. I might need to make. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna break this in half because it's clay, it's still, right? It's still pliable. I'm just squeezing it into my mold. And I think I'm gonna do is use these two small ones, right? So there we go. So anyway, that's what I have planned so far. That's our trip this summer. We're super, I'm super excited, I'm really excited. I wanted both our daughters to come, but the other one couldn't um, work out childcare because her husband is in the middle of um, doing a huge project for the company he works for and it requires working a lot of nights because it has to do with computers and IT and all that. So Amanda, the one that does all our shipping, our fast shipping that you um, always um, notice and thank me for. So Amanda can't go, I'm sad about that, but I'm so happy that Melissa was able to make it, work it out. Um, her husband also, he works out of town a lot, but uh, he told her, go, have fun, enjoy yourself, don't worry about the kids, I'll take, you know. So that's working out. And as a mama, I could not be more excited, you know, to have my adult children coming along with me. All right. Right, I'm thinking, I'll just kinda, so it kinda looks like the leaf is here. So what I'm thinking on the color of this piece, when I was in Florida a few weeks ago, um, some of you probably saw, I was playing around with cowgirl coral and um, a white, and then after that, Dion did, that incredible wardrobe using cowgirl coral and um, all sorts of color, right? The kissing booth and all sorts, and it was gorgeous. And I decided, you know what? I've been wanting a coral piece 
and I think this is going to be coral on the top, probably with my craziness of colors, how I, I just am loving how some of those, when I put the yellows underneath or whatever, I think I need baby roses right here. What do you think? Baby rose? Maybe? Um, so, yep, so I think this is gonna be coral. It'll be really pretty with the draperies I have in there. All right. Now I have to say this is a little harder to get out. These are so thick, right? So it's a little bit harder to get these out of the mold. Yeah, I think that'll work, just have one there. Yeah, I didn't think about when I decided to do this piece, but I'm making it work. Oh, I better make sure I can, oh, see? I said I'm making it work. I may have to mush it a little bit. Let me turn it. Oh, yeah. That won't work if, if I can't open the drawer. That one I think is fine, it's not hitting. This one is the one hitting. Uh, but I want a rose there. I think I have a smaller one. You know, I'm flipping this little petal up like I can't, I can't. I have to have room to open this, Josie. Don't be so silly. And you know, I don't want someone just to randomly open it and it hits it and makes it come off. Wow, that one is like just barely. So I have, okay, maybe this is better. See these, I mean, these are baby, baby. That's probably what I need, these little tiny baby ones, maybe several. So what I'll do is I'm going to take this one off, but I'm gonna use it. Where can I use it? I'll use it on my little cluster. Here, I'll just put it right there. There we go. This is my piece. All right. Oh, my hands are sticky from the clay. My fingers, I have too much clay on them. Oh no, it's from the glue, isn't it? It's probably from the glue. Oh, so, okay. This looks really deformed. This is the one, okay. What I can do here, we're gonna make mini roses, okay? I think I mixed up my cups. We're going to, I'm gonna show you with the resin. Okay, so I'm gonna use the resin. My paper cup is for mixing the resin, okay? It's a two part and you mix equal amounts and I'm going to make the three baby roses and I really don't know how much I need because it is deep it's a deep mold ah oh no I put this on when it was wet oh shoot I may not be making these right now until I can. Let me see. These utility scissors have this thing and I use it to try to, oh there. Ah, I was able to pry it off. Maybe it's time for me to take some saran wrap, right? And wrap that lid. Let's 
So try to get as close to equal as possible so it dries properly. I'm gonna pour it in my cup. And this stuff sets up really fast. I'm just gonna use, even though I've got dry clay on it, I'm gonna use the same stir stick. Wanna mix it really well, you need to mix them together, okay? Mix them together. And I'm gonna pour them in here. These shouldn't take too long to set up because they're so small. All right, I can make more. I have more stuff in here, not much. Well, I actually have quite a bit more. Let's see what I get. Oh, I don't know, if, well, I'm gonna make this one. I think I have enough to make this kind of a nice size one. Oh yeah, perfect. Darn, I'm good. Okay, just kidding. Yeah, I probably should have poured that on the table, huh? So I'll move it over here. Okay. Yeah, I think I better, this one is sticky. That's, I don't know why, but whatever that is, it's sticky. I'll have to maybe saran wrap that one. So I'm looking. So I should probably do something. Hmm. This is all throwing me off because, and again, because of the beveled edges on the drawers, I can't cut. I may have to do, um, I don't know, I've got like scrolly things, but maybe they just won't, they'll just have some little random roses or something because I can't cut them and have them look good. They just don't, nothing I can do about it. And then I am going to, maybe I could do that now. Oh no, I can't, it's on that one. I wanna use this big rose, I was thinking. Oh, uh, maybe not, okay, wait, okay. We're gonna make a big, we're gonna make a, this size rose here because I do wanna start wrapping some around the leg. Am I getting too crazy on this thing? Maybe, I don't know. For those of you who haven't watched me do this before, see how it's turning white? That tells you it's setting up. And when it's pure white, it's ready, and when you touch it, it's really warm, really warm. So, Let me see. Whoa. Get the middle stuff in. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I just have to like do little filler roses. Let me see if I even, I don't know if it would look funny to have like, yeah, baby leaves. I don't think so. Just have a random leaf. I think would look kind of funny, but I think a little rosebud would look okay. And. I made this one earlier out of the resin. It needs to go on a flat surface. Maybe kind of, I don't know, maybe that's too much. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe keep it up here. What do you think? Just kind of keep it up in this area? Does that look um, too plain? Yeah, I can't use this here because Although someone said I could microwave this. I did try microwaving these once and um, I probably just didn't do it long enough because it didn't get soft enough for me. And I can just make another one out of um, clay. Maybe that's what I'll do. Yeah, it needs to, I could put it here and then work this area, right? I remember Debbie's was really full and the one from Anthropology to go for it. I'm going to go for it because I'm brave that way. <laughs> it's funny. I really, when it comes to this kind of stuff, I have no fear. But um, I actually am kind of a scaredy cat. 
when it comes, but that's usually when it comes to my safety. This one, I'm not, I'm not worried about getting hurt. When I was a little girl, and I actually still, I was really painfully shy as a kid. I was that little girl that held on and hid behind her mother, you know the one, maybe you're that way too. I was so shy. And I had no reason to be. You know what, I think, I, you, I think I'm gonna have to do the clay on this one because I did use this glue up here and it feels like it's sticking, but I don't trust it down there. I think that's where I would have needed the, um, the other stuff that I have. Oh, so these other roses are setting up. I mean, see, they set up really fast. I'm just pressing it in there. I'm, you know, and you, I, only because I'm having a hard time grabbing it out of this bag, I could have taken a bigger piece. And I'm just squishing it all together so it sticks together, right? Because the last thing you want is to pop it out and then you have all these random pieces of roses. And I can see here, I need to add more. Let me move some stuff. Okay. All right. All right, here we go. I'm gonna pop it out, see. So see, I'm like really pressing hard to pop it out. To bend to bend this. Trying not to bend the rose too much. Oh, it's so pretty. I did originally have cornstarch in that one. That's why you see white way at the bottom. All right, so now I'm going to add my glue. Lots of it, because this is heavy. Let's see if that's enough, huh? I'm gonna put it right here. Probably gonna have to hold it for a minute like I did the other ones. I'll have to, I'll fill in with smaller ones in here. What I love about this particular mold, I love how the leaves are already incorporated into the mold instead of me having to make them. But again, um, I think once, you know, once I get this all painted, the leaves I think will be fine. I can feel this one, I can see this wants to um, slide. But you can see. Pop it out. That's ready. And then let's see how my baby ones did. Those should be ready. These are pretty deep. Oh, it's like they want to stick. Maybe they're not ready yet. Oh. Yeah, when they want to stick, they're not quite ready, but oh, it's too soft. I don't know if I mixed it right, but it looked like I had the right amount of each. Jeez. Jeez, Josie. Wow, yeah, I'm having a tough time with this one. I've made these before too.
Maybe I didn't fill them enough. This one looks like I didn't fill it enough. Okay. I can make them work, especially if I group them and add them together and my flower is sliding. I can make them work. It's so quiet in my house. I don't even have a TV going. Later, what is it today? Sunday? Oh, I'll go. I have this room in my house. I think I've talked to talked to you about it before. I call it my sitting room. It'd probably be called a parlor in the south. I have uh, my red couches in there, and I have this old vintage chair that I had reupholstered many years ago with these big roses. You have something for roses, right? I love to go lay, not totally lay down, but kind of, you know, with my back up against the arm and watch my Hallmark movies in there. And I think I'm going to do that later. I'll have me a glass of wine. See, I talked about wine. Because I already have the bottle open. So, I may as well pour myself a glass. You know, I think when it's all said and done, this will be okay. It isn't my vision because I, I, again, I did not take in consideration that the drawers didn't meet, that the drawers were flat, you know, like Debbie's. Uh, and if you don't know who I'm talking about, go to Debbie's Design Diary and go to her YouTube channel. And that's where you will see uh, her video on what she did. And it was just absolutely beautiful. Again, you know, she had stuff coming off down the edges and around, so this'll just be my take on it with this piece. I can, again, I can tell I didn't give this a lot of thought, but I really don't have anything else in my house I could have done this with. I don't really mind doing it with this nightstand. And it still, I think, will be beautiful. I'll make, you know, it's still gonna be beautiful, even if I can't have things trailing off and down the edges. It's almost set, but um, remind me, why did I make this one? Was it to go here? Maybe. That can because it's flat. It's flat right there. Oh, but I said, no, that's the problem. I have to use my other glue. I think for these little ones, though, I'll be fine. These are like super lightweight. I'm gonna have to buy some more Aileen's. Not anytime soon. I think I can get through this project and whatever I can't. I know we've got wood glue in the garage. I've got that other glue in my office. But I do like this. I do, okay. Let's see. Yeah, that's the perfect, perfect fit. Doesn't hit it. Perfect fit right there. And then I can put a little baby one, I think, next to it, and it'll work. This was the one I had a really hard time getting out. It kind of lost its shape, but I think next to that other one, it just looks more like a bud that hasn't opened yet. Up or down, it doesn't matter. Uh, it does want to slide. Yeah. I don't know if I, that was the right choice. Yeah, again, it's so hard because it's just a strip here. It's like, did I position it in the right place? Should I have positioned it elsewhere? But, you know, it's done. What am I going to do? You can see this takes a lot of thought. Right? It really does. I might like to put that like right there. I think I will. Let's see if I can get it to stick. <clears throat> might have to, we'll see if it sticks to the clay. 
And I think this is gonna be my last one for now. Let's see if I can get it to, I think it's gonna stick in there, kind of lodged in between. This one's sliding a little bit. <laughs> this one is also. Hmm. I think I'm gonna put them tight together. I'm gonna move it a little bit. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna stick or not. Maybe one, I mean, we saw this, oh, here we go, this one wants to slide again. I can tell it's setting up. So on, if nothing else, you can see I have no fear of this type of failure. I do, I don't like to fail, so I do have a fear, a fear of failing um, with certain things. But I try my best not to, I try my best to do whatever I can. So you can see, I don't have a fear of failing with this. If nothing else, it becomes a teaching experience um, for all of you. So if you decide you wanna try it, maybe next time you'll say, oh gosh, I remember I need my tape, right? And you tape it so it stays in place and you move on. I don't feel like getting up and just keeping you waiting. Instead, you get to listen to my, ram um, my rambling. It's sticking, it's starting to stick. All right, I just gotta figure out, make more, just add, sit in front of it. I wish I, I, I really, maybe I can make leaves. I think that's what I'll do. I think I'm gonna make some leaves coming off this, right? Like it's a kind of like a vine of some sort. All right, I think I'm gonna call it a day. Um, I thank you all for joining me. I know it was my second life today. I just wanted to say hi real quick and thank you again. I will answer any questions you have. I'll go back and I'll, I'll jump on the computer. It's always easier for me to use my keyboard. Um, that would be the keyboard that I have to plug in because I think I told you I spilled coffee on my MacBook and I blew out the keyboard. Yeah, that's a $1,400 mistake that uh, when I finally get back into town, I have to take it to Apple. And no, I don't have uh, Apple Care. So that was a very expensive mistake. Now I cover my coffee in any beverage. But anyway, at least I have a keyboard. I'll uh, answer your, any questions if you have any. Thanks again. I really appreciate all of you joining me. Take care.